السلام عليكم welcome back again in this video I'm going to speak about filters there are many type of filters low pass filter high pass filter and so on so what is electrical filter electrical filter filters are circuits that pass only selected band of frequencies and in this video I'm going to model low pass filter this circuit diagram represent low pass filter here is input voltage here is output voltage and RC elements or component this capacitor have sorry has reactance and this reactance is kind of like resistance for capacitor to AC signals the reactance is XCC equal to 1 by or 1 over 2 by FC so as the frequency increase increases the XCC decreases so XCC and F are directly related to each other to find the value of V out we can apply this formula V out equal to XCC over Z multiplied by V in Z equal to square root of R square plus XC square. So, how the low pass filter work? So, the low frequency signals will go toward the output, whereas the high frequency signal will be sent to the ground through the capacitor. And this is how the pass filter works. It pass low frequency signal and send the high frequency signal to the ground. So this circuit has a frequency response. Look like this. Here we have in a X axis we have frequency. In a Y axis we have a decibel. And this is the curve of low pass filter. F not here is a cutoff frequency. I'm not going. I'm not going to explain more about low pass filter because our goal in this course is to apply this circuit into simulating system. I mean, our objective is to model these kind of circuits in MATLAB simulating semi skip electrical library let's jump to matlab simulink and start to model our low pass filter yeah okay as usual bring all this component from simscape library we you can bring the resistor and the capacitor from foundation library and electrical then electrical elements capacitor reference and resistor and bring the two sources which are ac sources from here electrical sources that is all to set the parameter of this circuit go to our example here R is equal 4.7 kilo ohm, C equal, C equal 47, and uh, the frequency is equal, and this is the amplitude of this source, 1 with frequency of 1000, and this the amplitude A2 of this source with 100 frequency. So it is low pass filter, that is make, makes me consider the amplitude 15 and the frequency 100 is our main signal and the noise will be 100 1000 hertz so let's apply this value in our circuit in matlab simulating here is the resistor and here is capacitor we set the amplitude 1 and frequency 1000 here we set the amplitude 15 and the frequency 100. According to the circuit behavior, we can expect the output 
will be 15 because it is low pass filter. Once it is low pass filter, we like assume that 15 will be the output of this circuit. I mean that this circuit will pass low frequency. Let us run and see the results. Okay. Here is the result. The green one is the output voltage. The yellow one is the noise and the red one is the our normal or original signal. So as we can see, the output is 15.2, which is the amplitude or approximately the amplitude of our original signal. This our this circuit works because it just pass the amplitude of the low frequency signal. Okay. To calculate this. Uh, voltage or output voltage, you can apply this formula. Find XCC from this relation or equation and find depth from this formula, then multiply the, this value with this value, then you will get the same value that we have seen it in our simulation. So. If you apply this value in these formulas, you will get the same value that we've already have it in our simulation. That's all for today's lecture. I hope you get uh, benefits from this video. See you soon.